Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and this is the last video in an eight-part video series talking about how easy it is to import information uh, into GiftWorks. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the import process to update information for donors that already exist within GiftWorks. For instance, maybe you're a, you're a user who is migrating from an old system into GiftWorks. In that old system, you've brought over, perhaps you want to, you, you need to bring over your information in multiple steps. So perhaps you're going to bring over all the donor names first. And so you bring them into GiftWorks, you import them into GiftWorks, and now the donor names exist within GiftWorks. But then you need to come back perhaps with a subsequent import um, and import all the donations for those donors. And then maybe you need to come along a little bit later and bring, a, uh, bring in address information, et cetera. So maybe your import process needs to go in multiple steps, and you want to ensure that instead of whenever you're doing a subsequent import, you want to make sure that you're not creating duplicate donors within GiftWorks, but rather you're updating those existing donors with the information that you need to update. Uh, another scenario is that perhaps some of you might be using uh, an external service, maybe a volunteer management system externally to GiftWorks. Maybe you might be using an online donation service. Maybe you might be um, importing or uh, using a separate accounting system that on an ongoing basis you need to continue to import information. So let's just say you're using an external accounting system and on an ongoing basis you want to bring information into GiftWorks um, that uh, you want to update existing uh, donor information rather than adding new donors. And so uh, I'm going to show you how you can accomplish that using some of the tools as part of the import process. So to start off, you'll notice on my screen I have three donors in my GiftWorks database. I have Dave, Mary, and Steve. And if I double click on Steve, I can show you real quick that Steve has some basic information. I have his name information, have his address, uh, an email address for Steve. Uh, I also have, under details, I also have some groups that he's a part of. And then I have some donations. I have two donations for a thousand and a hundred dollars. And all my donors uh, have that basic information. Well, someone has just handed me an Excel file, and this Excel file contains additional information for Dave, Mary, and Steve. And when I import them, I want to make sure I don't create another Dave, another Mary, and another Steve, but rather I simply want to update this information that's uh, for, this donor, for these donors that already exist. And so I'm, to start, I'm going to go to the settings area and start a normal import by going to the import area. And I'm going to choose my Excel file that this person just gave to me. It's called import2.xls. And you'll, I can see in this preview that it's showing me the information that it has. In this case, my Excel file simply contains the donor's name, a date uh, of another donation, a an, uh, date of an, uh, an amount for another donation. It has another group uh, called Helper that these donors are part of, and it has some phone information. So you'll see as part of this, what I'm hoping to accomplish is to be able to import this information, add another donation for each of these donors, um, add Steve and Mary to another group, and then provide Steve and Dave with a, pho with a phone number. And so I want to import this information, and what I want to make sure that I do is I do not create another Steve, another Dave, and another Mary. And so to do that, I'm going to click on the Next button, and I'm going to focus on this option down at the bottom, which is called Updating Existing Donors. And this Updating Existing Donors addresses or allows options to do what we have been talking about, which is how to control updating donors that already exist within GiftWorks. There's two main options. The first option is called Let GiftWorks Decide. Um, and the second one is to choose the fields that you want to use for matching donors. Well, I'm going to deal with this first one, this top one, let GiftWorks decide. Um, I also mentioned earlier that I'm using GiftWorks 2010. Um, if you're using GiftWorks 2008 or GiftWorks 2006, then what I'm going to explain right now, even though you don't see this option um, on your screen, um, this option is, uh, this let's let GiftWorks decide option is, the, uh, is how g your g version of GiftWorks is going to behave. And if you're using GiftWorks 2010, you know you see the choice that you, ha you can make. Well, if I choose Let GiftWorks Decide, what GiftWorks is going to do, what GiftWorks has always done in the past, was GiftWorks will use a combination of name information to determine whether a donor already exists within GiftWorks. So in this case, I'm going to click on Next. And there's more information about this um, if I click on the Back button in, in the Help area of GiftWorks and in the Import Guide. So if you want to read more about it to augment what I'm saying here, you can feel free to consult those other areas. So by letting GiftWorks decide, I'm, I'm indicating that I want GiftWorks to use the name information to match up to existing donors. So if I click the Next button, I'm going to see that if I map first, middle, and last name, that GiftWorks is going to use these three names that if Steve, C, Faithful all match up, then I will be sure that GiftWorks will go ahead and update an existing donor rather than adding a new one. 
Now, if my next import contains Steve N instead of Steve, then it would not find a match. So it is very, Im very, it is very important that the names match exactly so that Giftworks knows to match up to the exact donor that it needs to match up to. Now, there's also a risk that if I had Bill Smith, a very common name, that it's possible I could accidentally update the wrong donor. So I want you to keep that in mind, um, especially as we, rev we review the other option regarding updating donors. So, but in this case, I'm choosing name information, which I know can be helpful um, to update existing donors. I'm going to go ahead and simply map the donation information. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to choose, I'm going to map group information. And then I'm going to provide a phone number. Say this is the home phone. So I've mapped all this information. So you'll see that I'm using, I've chosen the option to say I want you to use the uh, let Giftworks decide, which will use the name information to match up existing donors. I'm going to click the next button. I uh, see there's no errors or warnings. I'm going to do a quick test import. Giftworks will go ahead and report back to me. And then I'm going to click the complete import button, import this information into Giftworks. And you'll see now that hopefully I haven't created a new Steve, but I've simply added a donation for Steve. The other information, uh, if you remember, we also included Steve in a group and provided him a phone number. And then we also did some of the same for Dave and for Mary. So let's see, based on that name information, if it matched up appropriately. If I go to my donor dashboard, I'll see that I don't see more Dave and Steve and Mary. So that's a good start. And I can also double click on Steve. And I can go down. First of all, I see that his home phone was added. Um, you'll notice that Steve's other information is still intact, um, his name information, etc. But it did add his home phone, which is great. We'll also see under details, I'll see that he was also added to the helper group, which is great. And under my donations, I'll see that uh, another donation of $111 was added for Steve. And if I went to uh, Dave and Mary, I'd see some of the same things. So I have successfully updated donors that already exist within Giftworks by choosing the Let Giftworks Decide option as part of my import. For some people, name information alone is not sufficient. Perhaps you have donors with the same name. Um, you could accidentally update the wrong donor um, with uh, different information. Or, if a name is spelled differently, you might actually create duplicate donors when they indeed should be the same one. So in Giftworks 2010, we provided an, uh, an improved feature as part of the import process. And what we do is we allow you to choose the field you want to use to update existing donors. So instead of Giftworks choosing name information, you as the user can tell us which field you want to use to, uh, to match up between donors that you're importing and donors that already exist within Giftworks. So under my details tab, I want to show you that for Steve during my initial import, I imported a field into a custom field called my old system ID. This ID happens to be a number field. You can use any kind of field that you want as long as what you're doing is creating or providing a Id identification, some unique identifier that will allow a subsequent import to match against this so that you can guarantee that you're updating the correct donor. So an important part was I made sure that I imported into Steve and into all my donors some identifier that I'm going to be able to use at a later time. And then when I'm ready, if I do um, have to import additional information, I'll start my import here. I'm going to go find this import2.xls. I'm sorry, import3.xls. Click on Next. Then you're going to see that this contains a My ID column, which matches up to that ID that I already imported for these donors. And it contains a vacation address. Uh, this information I'm going to be adding uh, to each donor. I'm going to add a new address to each donor. So I'm going to click on Next, and I'm going to choose this option down at the bottom, which says Choose the field to use for matching donors. And I simply need to provide the field that's in my Excel file, which is my ID, and the field that's within Giftworks already, which is my old system ID. And now, in, the, in my situation, I'm, I'm expecting that all should have a match. So it, it says if a matching donor is not found, I'm just going to say input ignore the row of import data, but I'm expecting that all my donors will have a match. So I can click on Next. I'm going to ignore everything, and I'm simply going to map my vacation address. Street 1, City, State, and Zip. So b basically, Giftworks is going to match up based on that, um, that unique identifier that I provided, that my ID and that my old system ID. It's going to match on those two, and then it's simply going to add this address based on the matches that it finds. So I'm going to click on Next. No errors or warnings. I'm going to do a quick test. I'll see that it's going to just show me the ID, the unique identifier. And then I'm going to complete the import. And now Giftworks has matched successfully based on that unique identifier. It's imported those addresses into Giftworks. And now if I go back to Steve, 
and I double click on Steve and I go to his contact info not only am I gonna see his original address but now I'm also gonna see the uh, the new vacation address that I just added um, you'll also uh, if I went to the other donors you'd see that as well so I was guaranteed by matching up against using that unique identifier the information that already existed within Giftworks and the information that was in my Excel spreadsheet then Giftworks guaranteed a match between those two so that I'm always updating the correct donor now there's more information about that contained in the help not only uh, in this the context sensitive help but also in the import guide that you can refer to and I trust that the those powerful uh, modifications the improvements that we made to the Giftworks import process will help you as you continue to use the, up the import process to update your donors. So I trust this video has been helpful and trust that the series has been helpful. Uh, keep an eye out for a tips and tricks and frequently asked questions video that we're also going to be providing. So thank you very much for watching.